So I'm taking time out of my busy day to try to put to rest one of the more moronic things I've seen on the news for the past 14 years. And that's saying something. Through my Facebook feed, I saw yet again that old, tired argument. Airplanes crash into two buildings. Buildings catch fire. Buildings collapse at nearly the rate of freefall. A third building, not hit by an airplane, catches fire and also collapses. This one literally at the rate of freefall. For the first time in history, steel skyscrapers collapse because of fire. Three times in one day. I'm so sick and tired of this argument. Now, I'm not going to make any claims as to what did or did not happen. Although, if it was a conspiracy, other than the official one involving the 19 hijackers, I do care. But what I'm upset about is the absurd engineering argument that you guys are making. I'm not arguing the facts. Two airplanes did hit two buildings, and three buildings did collapse. But if you think the one caused the other, then you've been duped. This is a 110-story skyscraper. This is the top 15 stories. Do you see how the 95 stories below are supporting the 15 stories above? Okay, now, here I have an identical 15-story section of the skyscraper. Same structure, same mass, but nothing below it. And I want you to see something very interesting. If you drop these at the same time, According to the official story, this one will reach the ground at the same time as this one, essentially in free fall, as they put it. One has nothing below it. The other has 90,000 tons of structural steel supporting it. Check it out. This one obviously can't reach the ground at the same time as this one. Now check this out. Do you see the top 15 stories crushing the 95 stories below? No, you don't. The top block disintegrates by itself in the first few seconds without even impacting the building below. And then the building below begins to destroy itself. What you see are waves of explosions ripping the building apart, pulverizing nearly all the concrete to a fine powder and ejecting the steel up to 600 feet in all directions. The top 15 stories couldn't do that in a pancaking collapse. And they certainly couldn't reach the ground anywhere near as quickly as this one, which has nothing but air below it. Your argument is invalid. Get over your cognitive dissonance. Find a shrink. Get down below and you'd see molten steel. Like Molten steel running down the channel rails. Like you're in a foundry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like lava. Like, like, like lava. A volcano.